This telephone has too many shortcomings to be seriously considered as a means of communication. The device is inherently of no value to us, stated by Western Union Internal Memo in 1876. And were they wrong? In today's era of information technology, one would be hard-pressed to find someone without a phone. According to We Are Social in 2016, every Bruneian in average has 1.22 mobile phones. That means one in every six people has two phones. This means that virtually everyone in Brunei owns a mobile phone, which begs the question, does all this technology cause a decline in communication? Before we answer this, let us clarify what is meant by communication. As you can see, a dictionary definition of communication even includes the use of technology in its definition. So how could technology cause a decline in communication, right? Wrong. Later we will show that technology is able to cause such a decline. As you all might have guessed by now, we are investigating the decline in communication due to technology. When you say this topic, you will instantly answer, yes, of course this is true, because wherever you go, this is a common scene. But the truth is not as simple as that. Although it is true that Mr. F is not communicating with his neighbor, Mr. R, face to face, he is actually still communicating by using his phone. In fact, with the advent of social media such as Facebook, Instagram, Line, and all the rest, communication has seen a massive increase. People can now communicate with each other from across the globe instantaneously, or at least as soon as the other person wakes up to read the message. And not only that, with the internet improving, it is now possible to do video conferencing from almost anywhere in the world. So really only fast-to-fast -fast communication is seeing a decline due to technology and not communication as a whole. But is it true? We conducted a qualitative investigation in the form of a lecture analysis to back up our hypothesis. We also did a quantitative analysis in the form of an online survey to further back up the data we have gathered as well as to make sure that our lecture analysis result holds true in Brunei. According to our literature analysis, there is definitely a decline in face-to-face -face communication over the years. People such as Milton Kazmaier attribute this decline to the improvement in communication technology. They generally agree that the convenience of not having to move to communicate has caused a decline in face-to-face -face interaction and our survey data also supports this. A majority of the respondents say that they prefer to use WhatsApp to talk to people even if they are in the same house. But using WhatsApp is still communicating, so overall there should be no decline in communication, right? Here's where there are conflicting views. People such as Adam Canover and Sarah Knapp claim that there is no decline in communication and in fact say that communication has increased because of how easy it is to do nowadays. But some people such as Fran Alston and Milton Kazmaier say that communication has indeed declined due to technology. The general consensus is that with technology comes more distractions which means people spend less time communicating. These distractions may be in the form of television, movies, streaming music, games, and other such things. This also makes sense so it is hard to deny the veracity of this point of view. To settle this dispute, we also asked in our survey what they usually do with their phone or computers. We also asked how much time they usually spend doing these activities and also how much time they spend communicating with other people. We found out that people spend equal if not more time communicating as they do playing with their devices. Which means in Brunei, communication has seen an increase due to technology. As a side note, here are what our members think about this topic. For Faiz, he says that technology definitely has caused an increase in communication. If someone is bored and spends their time watching anime to kill their time, instead of chatting, then without technology, they would probably have spent their time sleeping anyway. But I do agree that the younger generation tend to be introverted because they have been trained to play with games alone and so are awkward when forced to socialize in person. For me, I understand that technology causes decline in communication, but specifically in the face-to-face -face kind. Thanks to advancement in technology, which evidently causes people to live with a mindset that consists of don't make me think, and I can't live without my phone or the internet. These people who grew up this way may learn to communicate differently than others do. So in a way, we're only declining in face-to-face -face communication, but it makes up for it through the reach modern technology can achieve, which in turn gives rise to the tech-savvy generation we see today. So there is no decline in communication, only the face-to-face -face kind. 
Sight, on the other hand, says that because of technology and a huge number of cell phone usage, we communicate more than ever before. It may not be a face-to-face -face type of communication, but it's still communicating nonetheless with many different people from around the world. Meaning to say, technology doesn't really reduce communication, only verbal type communication because most people find it convenient to send an email or text message rather than to walk up to someone, shake their hand, and introduce themselves. Some people find it awkward and uncomfortable meeting new people. And Shima says she believes that there is no declining in communication because of technology. Instead, it increased. The reason is modern technology, such as mobile phones, laptops, etc., provide applications for messaging and call making, be it through voice or video. Social media is very famous in our era, where interaction and communication with others become easier. Even some of the technology is bad for communication, such as less communication skills in terms of face-to-face, -face, but there is no declining in overall communication. In conclusion, technology actually doesn't result in a decline in communication, but like everything that exists, it can be abused and when abused, could lead to a decline in communication instead. Here are our references. And that's it for our presentation. Any questions?